Hey, what's up, guys? And welcome back to Little Nightmares. This game has been so cool. I wish I can put it into words. It's pretty hard to put it into words, actually. But when you play the game, and I hope that when you see the videos on this game, that you can kind of feel the vibe. It's just the feeling that you get when you play it, the atmosphere, the world. Everything is very unique to its own universe. And I really, really enjoy that about this game a whole lot. I sometimes wish we had some sort of like story dialogue so we can kind of fall back on so I can give you guys a little bit of a brief summary as to like what we've been through on the previous episodes. But it doesn't really matter. We managed to escape that dude with the really long arms, which I think he was some sort of like kidnapper. I think it was resembling him being uh, an individual that kidnaps kids and probably puts them through torture or maybe kills them. I don't know, but it was just overall very freaking weird, and uh, we managed to escape. We chopped off his arms, and now we are in some sort of vent system. Um, obviously, we're probably tired, hungry. As we know, Six is a uh, not a typical individual ch child. She's a mountainer. She's smaller than others, and um, obviously, there's going to be some sort of hiccups along the way as we play with her. Uh, but I think in this episode, we're going to try and go further beyond than we have in the past two, so... We'll see what happens. I'm really interested. I know there is more bosses to this game, which are going to be quite freaky. And um, I think that's what we're going to do today. Who knows? Maybe we'll finish it off. Maybe we won't. But uh, first thing we're going to do is wake the hell up, okay? We've been sleeping for too long now. Okay, here we go. I think this is chapter three. We might be going into chapter three. I think so. I think we did one and two, or we're going into chapter four. I don't really remember, but here we go. Oh, what the hell is that? Okay, that's just like some sort of like human flesh sausage or something. Okay, back with the weird stuff. Okay. I think this... Oh, hold on. Okay, what am I... Oh, I'm supposed to hang to one of these. Maybe up here? Oh, okay. See, that's also another element of this game that I really enjoy. The whole puzzle shenanigans sometimes they're obvious sometimes they're not it looks like now we're headed into the kitchen oh look up there oh god we are headed to the kitchen i've seen pictures of these dudes they're like twins or something they're like some cooks some sort of cooks oh my god they're really overweight and scary and i don't know what happened but i think i should have jumped down here and I died. Okay, let's pretend that didn't happen, okay? Let's just go back over here. And here we go. We're we're getting hungry again. Obviously, sleeping with a with an empty stomach is not gonna make the empty stomach go away. So we're probably gonna have to why is there a rat trap here? We're we gonna have to pick this up. Okay, I thought I was gonna have to pick up the rat trap, trap a rat. And eat the rat. That would have been quite disgusting. But we're at the moment right now where... Uh, oh my god. Are we really going to have to eat the rat? No. Oh! Okay, you ate the freaking rat. Wow, this game is a little bit more gruesome than I thought it was going to be. We're Apparently, we're eating rats now. Do you know how many diseases a rat has? Well, I guess desperate times call for desperate measures. Okay, here we go. Uh, this game is like... It's, it's a weird vibe with this game because it's, it's kind of like relaxing, but it's not. It's creepy. But yet, it mellows you out in a way. It's it's very strange. I just don't know if I get a... P oh, wait a minute. Just like that. No? Really? Of course. There we go. Alright, nice. I think we're in business now. I'll slide down here. He was freaky, man, but really, really interesting. Going in through the double doors. Nothing good ever happens when you go inside the double doors. I want to say that I'm going to have to push this cart all the way to the end. 
and climb up through there. That is exactly what it is. Okay. So yeah, this is definitely the kitchen. I can hear these dudes butchering their freaking knives. Sharpening their blades, ready to slice me in half. Ooh, we have a nice little vent entrance here. <gasps> At least I can see this guy's face, you know? So it's not as bad. Okay, maybe it is bad. Maybe he's very creepy. Oh, God. Oh! I think he saw me. Oh! Okay, never mind. I take that back. He is very creepy indeed. Okay, I'm gonna stick to the shadows. Oh God, <laughs> dude, he's creepy. Just when I was saying that he's not that bad, he might just be worse than the last guy. I mean, what sort of like universe are we in really that it's got all these weird freaking... <gasps> Okay, never mind. This guy is definitely worse. Okay, I think we're good. Oh my god, bro. This is nerve-wracking. <laughs> okay, so maybe I should just run through here. Yeah, I'm just gonna run for it. Oh! 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 Oh god! I need to find the keys. Maybe climb up here. I am making a run for it. <gasps> oh my god. Sorry, young sir. You're a little bit too overweight to catch me up here. <laughs> I'm gonna keep walking this way. Okay, now he knows where I'm at, so uh, it's kind of pointless to even try and be stealthy at this point. Keep on walking. What is wrong with that man? He is coughing up a storm over there. Oh, look at that. This might actually be where the key is. Just gotta be very careful along this plank here. Yep. Alright, so we just gotta keep climbing. Okay, this is this is cool. Just the level design to this game is dude, it's so nice. Such a simple game yet. Effective. Should we go here? We are now in the toilet room. I think he's actually got a twin brother or something like that. I've never played this game, but I've seen it in the pictures. It's like one of the very famous pictures of this game. What happens if I get the soap? Do I get like a don't drop the soap achievement or something? No? Okay. Oh, look, there's a candle up there. Can I light that up? Oh, yes, I can. <laughs> okay. I'm going to keep moving forward here. Ooh. It's one of those eyes again. Oh, there's somebody in there. Okay, hold on a sec. We have a jack in the box. Is that a jack in the box? Oh, that's the other guy sleeping here. <gasps> Don't tell me we're going to have to. Oh, that's the key right there. If I should turn off the light, if that would help me. Hmm. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> I wonder if we can do anything here. Hmm. Be on top of the bed.
what if we jump from this bed <gasps> there we go perfect here we go okay he didn't hear the key that's good he might be outside the hallway now though so we've got to be very very careful Okay, here we go. I know this game's gonna throw this dude at us any second now. Okay, I think I might actually have to jump up here. Grab the key now and head through this door. Oh, this is an elevator. Okay. Oh, this is probably what that guy took. Oh. There was another gnome over here, right? Drop the key. I think he's coming, guys. He's coming. Oh my god. Oh god. <gasps> I need you to shut up. Oh my god. What happens if I... God damn it, dude. Oh, I think I know what has to be done. He's gonna come for that, and then when he comes, I'm gonna leave. Okay, that's what it's for. Okay. So he's going to be focused on that. And when he is, I make a run for it. Oh. Okay, here we go. I think it's the same guy, though, that was here before. <gasps> oh, my God. Oh, my God. What? How did he get me? I was under... The I'm gonna make a move. Here we go. Okay, I think we're good. I think we're good. We might just be able to open up this door. Here we go. We're here. Perfect. Did he hear that? No, he didn't. Okay, so all we have to do is push the door and voila. I think we're good now. Nice. I still don't want to say we're completely safe because I feel I feel like we might come across his brother eventually. What's going on here? Why can't I open that? Oh, there's a little vent up here. Okay. Here we go. So you see there's two sides to this kitchen. Now we've got the other side. And here we have a little bit of a puzzle, I see. Let me see what we can do here. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and pull this lever. At least we're alone here, so it's not as, like, you know, intimidating. Or as nerve-wracking. Okay. Oh. Ooh. You're making sausages? <laughs> That's disgusting. Okay, I see what I got to do. I got to keep pulling this. No? Oh, wait, there's no sausages there. Oh, I see. Maybe I got to pick these up. I don't know. Um, What is this? Okay. Okay, I think I got it. Okay. So we got to put sausages in there so we can be able to grind them. Is that what it is? I think that's what it is. Now the question lies in... Oh, there we go. Oh. Well, I actually didn't think I was going to be able to do that, but... <laughs> okay. 
Now, can we get this other piece of sausage here and drag it there as well? That's the question. I don't think we'll be able to unhook those big ones up there for sure. But these at least are more likable to both of them go up here. Put these over here. I don't think it's letting me do it, actually. Yep, it is. There we go. Perfect. Okay, so now we also have a little vent here. Can we go in there? Maybe there's something extra in here. Oh, got another little lantern. And we've got this little statue. Which I think we can break. I think that's like to release, I don't know, spirits or something. I don't know. I don't think there's anything else over here that we can do. Okay. All right, so now that we've got that in place, I think we can go back down. And then now maybe we can grind that. And then eventually we'll get the sausage. I don't know what the, the, the string of sausage is going to do for us, but I'm willing to find out. Here we go. Um, pull down on this. Oh, <laughs> let's go. We're in business. All right, good. There we go. There we go. Ugh, nasty. Oh, so I see what that does. That's just there for us to hang on to this and swing. Dude, that's how light we are. That we can actually hang to a string of sausage and not snap it in half. We are definitely malnourished, weak, small, petite. At a big disadvantage when it comes to this strange, strange world of little nightmares. All right, so I think we've, we've pretty much passed the task of the kitchen. Or did we? Okay, maybe I, uh, maybe I was wrong. Maybe we have not. Okay. This part seems a little bit less scary, though, than the other dude. Because the other dude was a, a living nightmare. He was just very freaky. Like, these guys are just cooks. Obviously, if they see you in their kitchen, they're going to want to kill you. Which is only common sense. The other oh, okay. I rest my case. <laughs> I'm going to hide right here. Oh, yeah, <laughs> right in here. Okay, he's probably going to come and get one of those sausages. I don't know if those are sausages or just meats or they're actual bodies. Okay, why is he moving this box? Oh, it's cheese. Mmm, delicious. Now, if you could please get the hell out of here. I would really appreciate it. Okay, I'm going to make a move for it. A-okay. Okay. We have not been spotted yet. Here we go. <laughs> He's like, what the hell? Okay, so now we're going to have to get out of here. Oh, he's coming. Okay, we're probably going to have to go. Nope. Maybe in through here. Okay, he's coming. There he is. I don't know where he's going. Oh, so we're going to need him to open that door. Okay. In order for us to go back in there. It's okay, Mr. Chef. There's absolutely nobody here. <laughs> coronavirus. Coronavirus. Okay, the door is open. Please do not close on me. Oh, God. Dude, this is disturbing, bro. This is so fucking creepy. Okay, we're going to have to go under the tables here. He's just chopping away on that piece of meat. I would like to assume that's probably, you know, actual, just, just regular animals, not like human flesh or anything like that. Oh, God, he is vicious with it. Look at him go. Jesus Christ. <laughs> this man is an animal. Okay. Uh-oh. He's coming. I feel like we've been here before. Maybe this is a different part of the kitchen. 
Oh, that's the key that we need. Oh, snap. We need that key. Wow. Are you kidding me? Um, I have no idea how I'm going to make this man. Oh, look at him. Scratch his neck. Disgusting. I might have to actually activate something on this. Oh, here we go. Food processor. Go through here. Yep. The chef probably thinks that this kitchen is haunted or something, but uh, I'll tell you what, Mr. Chef. <laughs> I'm getting away with your key now. Maybe we can throw... Can we throw the key at that? No, we cannot. I thought that maybe throwing the key at that would have, like, closed the door on him or something, you know? But apparently not. Okay. We're gonna head back down. Oh, my God. Okay, we're gonna need to unlock this ASAP. Like, right now. Like, now. Like, now. Like, let's go right now. Okay. Oh my god. Okay, so we're gonna hide in here. He's gonna come back down here. Oh my god. Please don't look in here. Please don't look in here. Go away. Go away. Oh. Alright. <laughs> so that's where we gotta go. Okay, so maybe. I wonder if we can jump on top of this. Yo, that guy is sick, man. I'm telling you. wonder if we can jump on top of this. Oh, what the hell? <gasps> Was I supposed to be in here? Is this possibly a secret room of some sort? I think I fucked up here. I mean, I just don't see any possible way of getting out of this room now. Unless we can climb up through this. Oh, there's a vent system down below. Oh. Cheeky, cheeky. Okay, so now we're at the washing department, I feel. Yeah. That guy washing the dishes. See, now it's both of them. Twin brothers, those creepy fucks. Okay, I'm just gonna keep on going. I don't think there's a need for us to do anything. Oh, we're gonna have to go up now. I was going to say, we're probably not even going to have to go up there. We just keep going down here. But apparently, uh, <laughs> apparently that's not the case. Oh, now I got to worry about two of them. Oh, my God. You've got to be kidding me, bro. You've got to be kidding me. You've got to be kidding me. Please don't look over here. Please don't look over here. All right, so now it's not just one that we got to worry about. We got to worry about both of them. So when I flip this switch. Oh, God. Oh, God. Climb up, climb up, climb up. What the fuck are you doing? He doesn't even see you. are now going the opposite direction. I don't even know I could hide on the phone. Awesome. Okay. Let's see. Just by seeing it, I think this is going to be the pile where we're going to be, uh, we're going to need to use to get, go on top of the hooks. Oh, fuck. Okay, hold on. There we go. Perfect. Okay. <laughs> I don't think they can reach me up here, unfortunately for them. <laughs> Look at that guy's got a plunger. <laughs> He's got a fucking plunger. <laughs> Wait, what? There's more? Oh. 
I didn't know he was going to be able to grab me there. Okay, let's try this. Oh, God. Jesus. Oh, my goodness. Oh, holy crap. Oh, shit. Run. Ah! <laughs> Oh my god, that is nerve-wracking. I thought there was only two. Holy crap. Wow. That was actually pretty crazy. Ooh. Are we outside? It's raining. It's either raining or there's some sort of crazy leakage, but why did I fall and die? <laughs> oh goodness. Okay, so of course obviously this game is 2D, but it's got a little bit of a little bit of a 3D element to it, so I would fall and die. Anyhow, this is really cool. I'm still trying to figure out where exactly we are. Dude, is this a ship? Oh my god, this is so cool. Things are actually starting to get a little bit creepier now. I was starting to begin, like, thinking to myself, there's so many rooms in this area where we're at, and, and now it makes sense. It's because we are in a ship! type of world do we live in that everyone is so strange dude this is so freaking cool so we're going from a boat to a ship or we're going from a ship to an overwater facility the more I look at the left, it, it, this doesn't really look like a ship. It looks like some sort of facility that just floats on water. Unless it is a ship and it's just some sort of weird ship. But hey, it's a little seagull over there. Oh my goodness. This is the first... Oh. Oh wait. Okay, hold on a second. This chapter is called The Prison. This is the fourth chapter. So, I was going to say, are those people prisoners? But then I'm starting to look at them, and they don't really look like prisoners. Ooh. All right, so we know what we got to do here. We just got to pull the planks off. I think we could even go just like this. Maybe one more. Okay, hold on. Um. Oh, okay. Just climb up. For the love of God, why am I always a fall? Seems to be a little bit harder than it looks, honestly. We're walking a very, very thin line between being okay and just flat out dying. And God damn it, this is like the movie Wally, where everyone's just fat. But here, people are fat, but they're still walking. And Wally, they can't even. Oh, who is that? That is actually kind of creepy. And Wally, everyone's overweight because technology took over and whatnot. You know, you become lazy and... Anyways, really good movie. If you haven't seen it, I suggest you do. Pretty much more of the story. Don't let technology take over your life like it has over mine because you will gain weight. As have I. And... Okay, now this seems to be a little bit different. We're actually on the upper facility, and it looks like we have a feast in here. Oh, can we be seen by these individuals? They are stuffing their face in. <laughs> this is such a weird game. Oh! 
He freaking ate me, dude. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God, oh my God. This is so freakishly weird. It's actually crazy. Okay, I think I might have to climb up here. Okay. Hold on, what do I have to do here? I actually feel like I need to do these people are disgusting, bro. Just focus on your freaking. This is so cool. Like, this level design and just the way you've got to play this part, at least, it's so cool. Everyone here is just stuffing their face. Look at these, look at these people. What is this? This game is so odd. I love it. Yeah, okay, I'll probably push this little stool that way. And I'll sneak in here. Thank you. Okay, enough of that. Now we've got a puzzle to solve. And I'm going to give this gnome a hug because I'm sad. It's my buddy old pal right there. Okay, so we've got a bucket. I just don't really know what we got to do here. Maybe I have to go this way. Oh, crap. Oh my god <laughs> holy crap ah! okay so yeah this is by the way this is not the prison this the prison is chapter two which was episode two i don't i don't even know why i don't know i don't know why i even said this was the prison this is actually called the guest area which i'm kind of bummed that i said the prison it was my mistake i'm sorry and now it probably messes up the entire beginning of the commentary of this video because i was just relating to all of this as if they were prisoners so never mind this is the guest area. That's why you see them here. They're like in some sort of getaway resort, I guess you can say. And that's why they're all stuffing their face in. Because, well, yeah, they're on a vacation. They are here to eat. Okay, I gotta follow the little gnome. I'm gonna follow the little gnome. Uh oh. Oh, God. Oh. Oh, God. Hey! Well, at least they can't move. I mean, yeah, they can. Yeah, they can, actually. Actually, yeah, they can. Oh, my God. Why is everyone so evil in this game? I mean, these guys are supposed to be here on a vacay. Yet they're here trying to eat me. Ah! Holy crap. Whoa, dude, chill out, man. It's not that serious. Oh, for the love of God. Here, bro. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Run, 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 run. Okay, we're safe. <laughs> this is so creepy, bro. It's just creepy in a very, very weird way. <laughs> he knows I'm here. Maybe I'll hide over here. <gasps> Why am I locked up in here now with him? This is not good. He left. Good. Okay, he's gone. I think I'm gonna have to go climb up there now. Um. Can I use these pipes maybe? No. Oh, shoot, dude. How, how am I gonna do this? Okay, pick this up. Oh, wait. What if I get this and I break the glass?
Wow, that actually worked. I was not expecting for that to work. <laughs> At all. Wow. Okay. So here we go. I guess my IQ is higher than I expected. That's awesome. Okay, we're still running. We're still up and running. There we go. It's probably gonna go back into. Ooh. What is he doing? That's the chef, by the way. He is still here. Now I've got to be very, 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 very careful here. Let me get this. Take it with me. Okay, can I take this? Yeah, I've got to take the elevator. Right, we'll keep on going up in floors. This is a good sign. There's somebody else in there. I don't know if I should go in there, though. I'm going to light up this lantern, and it actually looks like I have to go in there. That's not good. Oh, crap. All right, I'm going to turn off the lantern. I mean, the lighter. There is someone really, really hungry around here. Oh, what the hell is that? Oh my goodness! Okay, think, 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 they're coming, they're hungry as fuck. Oh my god, what the hell's wrong with these people? Whoa! Dude! Wow, okay, I, I was not even expecting that. Not even remotely close to anything like that. Why are these people so fast? They're not supposed to be this fast. No, no. Oh, you guys are disgusting. Leave me alone, I'm just a little girl. <gasps> are you kidding me? That was so well done. That was extremely well done. Oh, I think we're hungry again. What is this, cat food or something here? No. I mean, we've already eaten normal meats. Uh, then we actually have to go ahead and eat rats. I wouldn't be surprised if we eat a piece of one of the little gnomes at this point, honestly. I just, it w I wouldn't put it past her. I guess what you're hungry, you're hungry, right? Oh, a little so- Yeah, that's what I thought. I was actually thinking that. I just didn't really commentate on it. Look at my little friends. They're giving me sausage. I can't believe that. Why would you do that to the poor little freaking gnome? He was just trying to help. That is unacceptable, Six. Unacceptable. You're becoming one of them. Oh, that's creepy. That's the main lady, huh? Oh, crap. That's very creepy. I guess we're gonna go over there then, huh? <laughs> Thing is, how the hell do I grab? How do I open that? Can I press this? Okay, let me try this again. I can't believe we ate a gnome. I was totally freaking kidding. <laughs> I was not expecting to actually eat a gnome. Especially when I saw he was offering a piece of sausage. Or he or, he or she. Whatever. That was messed up, man. <laughs> what the fuck? Alright, here we go. 
Oh, I guess that's her clothes, huh? Oh, she's freaky with it. This lady is scary. She's the one responsible for all of these things. Oh, this is too freaky right now. All right, there's a key there. It's the lock that I need to get for that door. And she's the one that sings. supposed to do here get past her oh god Dude, that is so freaky <laughs> that is freaky bro yeah you stay over there okay she's like the queen of all then Look at all these freaky paintings on the freaking walls, man. Like, her as a child, or. I just gotta find out where the key is, though. I wonder if we have some sort of resemblance to her, or like some connection. That painting down there sure looks like Six is part of this, of this family. Okay, maybe through here. Hmm. I feel like I feel like I might need to knock that that base down. Oh god, that's exactly what we're going to have to do. for me how creepy is that there's so many of these like weird wooden figures that it, she could be any of them that's what makes it even creepier man <laughs> release release the souls you've trapped in your bases demon Oh god, I'm I'm creeping out right now, man. I'm I'm super juked. I'm like See those little paintings on the wall or those like just overall those like I guess they're pictures. Some like the ones that are covered, it looks like Six's outfit, which is kind of weird. All right, we're going to go here now. So, at least we figured out where the key was, which wasn't that even that it wasn't even that bad to find out, which is a good thing. But I'm kind of. <laughs> She's gonna be one of these, isn't she? That was a legit scary dude. There she is. That scary ass freaky crazy bitch. Oh. Okay, yeah, this is creepy. Totally creepy right now. Yep. She's gonna be right there. You've gotta be shitting me. You've got to be, you've got to be kidding me right now. She could be any of these. Where am I even supposed to go? There's so many dolls. 
I'm probably gonna have to use that chair or something. The question is, for what? Find out next time on Dragon and Ball Z. Okay, I'm just gonna stop. Um. Oh. Really? I just gotta take out these planks? I feel like this is too easy. Okay. The mirror. <gasps> this is the thing on the on the vision that we saw. We gotta break this mirror. Wait, what? Seems like I was just supposed to go in here to pick this up. Oh, God. Oh. Oh, this is how I kill her. Oh, hi. Hi. Hi, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, how am I even going to defeat that demon? Here we go. What are you doing? Oh. Oh. oh my god, pick that up. Oh my god. Not that bad. You're not that bad. You're not that bad. You will taste. What it feels like to be feared by your own reflection. Oh god. Dude, she is freaky, bro. This is such a cool game, dude. I was not expecting this. demon I dare you I triple dare you she got really close on that one <laughs> and she's still not dead I, I mean I've stunned her like four times here I am Jesus Christ are you kidding me so it's not it's, it's just her stare that's like really bad Oh, I think we got her, boys. I think we've done it. I still kind of feel bad because we ate the little dwarf, man. All so messed up. Oh, hi. So are we going to kill her or what? Are we going to get that mirror and put it right smack in her face? By the way, she's the one that was using that power through the eyes in the first episode where it would like turn us into stone or whatever. I think it was all all her all along. She's going to get me. Oh! What the hell? Are you kidding me? What the fuck? This is so weird. Yo. So did we just turn into some sort of demonic entity? That was so creepy. That was crazy. I was literally fucking crazy. Something's going on here. No way. I think we've got part of her in us now.
you can see there's like an aura to us now. We walk by and I think these guys are not even going to be able to keep up with me. Oh my. Look at this. Oh my goodness. This is so wild. <laughs> They're trying to eat me. But they don't understand I've got the power of the lady. This is actually terrifying. And we're heading straight for the eye, which when that eye opens, and it does absolutely nothing to us, that is a confirmation that we are now part of the problem. There's no need to eat a damn rat. And then when we hit the gnome, I was like, okay, we've totally just, we've done it. And now this. God damn it, Six. How dare you. How could you have turned to the darkness? So we're going to unleash this specimen into the wild, huh? Just like that, we ride into the sunset. Or sunrise, or just sun, whatever. That's so creepy, man. Watch the door close on him. Huh. Oh my goodness. Look, this was a very short game, but it was so fun. So great. And I only played it because... I've seen a lot of people talk about it. I've seen tons and tons of like videos roaming around the recommended and stuff. And a lot of you were also commenting I should try it out. And then of course there's Little Nightmares Part 2 or Little Nightmares 2, which is going to be coming out eventually. So I kind of wanted to be up to speed with everything. And that was really fun. It was quick, short, and straight to the point. And I'm glad I played it. Thank you for those of you that recommended it. And thank you for those of you most importantly, the watched. I will catch you guys. <sighs> yeah, that was that was a little weird. <laughs> Anyways, I'll catch you guys later. <laughs>